My wife says my bourbon collection is getting out of control. And since quitting isn't an option around here, I'm just gonna hide it from her like the stereotypical husband that I am, except I'm gonna hide it in the wall. The inspiration for the hidden bar in my bar room comes from like those beds that the footboard hides a TV. And I'm not really a huge fan of how there's just a center post and then everything is held from there. The box with the liquor in it could really get wobbly. So I started digging around a little more and I realized that a standing sitting desk could be a great option for this. They have way more weight capacity and I love that there's two columns on both sides. So I found some hardware that I think is gonna work. I ordered it and it's gonna be a minute before it gets here. So we're gonna get started on the cabinet and the bar top that it's gonna go in the rest of the bar first. Let's rip. So removing the countertop was a huge pain in the ass. Oh, you son of a bitch. They literally mounted the countertop, which had an unfinished bottom, before they did any of the build out. They then just used a couple lag screws to hold it in place. I have no idea how this thing hasn't fallen off. The demo always sucks. Even something as basic as this bar top that looks simple turned into being a huge pain in the ass. Stop. So to remove it, Lou and I literally had to like pry it off of the bar. In order to not waste this material, I ended up turning the bar top into some floating shelves. Now they used an old polyurethane finish that really yellowed it and they, they just looked like shit by running this through the planer and the joiner and the whole squaring process. The wood actually ended up being gorgeous. I bought some floating shelves off of Amazon and we're gonna hang these up in the bar to display some of the nicer bottles that I have because we know all of my Blantons is gonna be hidden. So here's the slab we're gonna replace the bar top in my house with. We need 126, that one was 126 and a half, 127, we got a little wiggle room there. The other one though had a big curve and I kinda hated it, but it does make it nice because it's a countertop to have those rounded edges. How dumb would it be to do a live edge on just one side? That would give me the opportunity to round that corner the way I want and then this one, I could blend in nicely so that's not jabbing people. And I get that nice hump. My lovely lady hump. I like it. Live edge on one side. Let's go. So we got a bunch of cabinet parts cut here and then I'm gonna whip together what should be a really strong cabinet. We've got a three quarter inch back. All the shelves are gonna be fixed because nobody actually ever moves shelves that are on pins. And then we'll get the carcass put together here pretty quickly. We're gonna do a little bit of solid wood edge banding on the two interior shelves and then we gotta build face frames and doors. Uh, so we're just gonna keep everything moving forward. It's a thing. After spraying it with lacquer, I went ahead and built the face frames. I just used some poplar and some pocket holes and kept it super simple. And then I went ahead and used some biscuits to attach it with a little bit of glue to the cabinet carcass. There we go. I got the door parts cut here and we've got our quarter inch gap down here, which will split into an eighth on each side. And then this is a little bit heavier than I wanted it to be, but it should be about an eighth inch gap the whole way around. Once we get that thing put together correctly, now I got to glue these up. I'm going to use a domino to glue them up because I'm going to come in the back and we're going to do a mesh inset. So I'm going to cut that rabbit after these things are all glued up and square instead of doing like your traditional tongue and groove door panel. I don't need that because we're putting metal in them. There you go. Now I just gotta make four of these, keep them square, put them into clamps, get a bunch of glue in there, and we will be ready to insert the mesh and get these things mounted, hopefully painted. Three days later. So yeah, like this is kind of what I was vibing with. Boop. Yeah, that's definitely like a real shitty jank ass way to do it. And sometimes I feel like that's what you gotta do. Jankification. I don't know if I wanna show people this. John, how'd you keep the door, the, the metal in? Well, I'm not proud of it, but it works. It looks neat. No? Yeah? It looks great. Get more excited, damn it! Oh, it looks awesome! I have the base of a standing sitting desk thing. I went with the upgraded one. So I'll have a link to this thing in the description. This sucker has two motors. Ah, that's one. Two. My biggest concern with the way I wanted to kind of plan this was getting wobbly wobbly with a bunch of bottles in here that are pretty pricey. So I wanted to avoid any potential of that happening. We're gonna be able to use this at this width. Now these are actually the bottoms. 
These would typically be what our feet are gonna sit on. Because I'm smarter than the average bear, at least sometimes, we're gonna use it upside down. So the motor and the housing is gonna sit on the bottom. Now we just gotta figure out how much rise we have so we can plan out our cabinet box. All right, so we're going up. Going up, 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 up. One eternity later. We're still going up. It's not fast. It sounds strong, which I think matters. So we'll probably do a 24 inch box that'll come across, okay? We're gonna have a piece of walnut on top of that will then go up and down with our system here. So let's build a box. I think I'm gonna sleep on it. Blue run's pretty darn good. Building a little face frame here, and then what I'm gonna do is I think I wanna put an extra rail inside of this to hold the bottles from falling out. So we're gonna mock you this up. The bottom box isn't glued yet, because I'm pretty sure I know what I want, but I don't quite know. What do you want? We've got the dominoes in there for extra strength. So that bar there, and then maybe my thought was like maybe putting a piece of metal in that gap to match these. All black earth thing, I like it. I've decided I like this two inch spacing. I'm gonna put the rest of this face frame together, sand it, and then I'll put a uh, metal panel behind this once it's all sprayed and finished. That will kind of match the rest of those. We have enough to do so. Get it back on it, get this thing put together. This should work for exactly what I was trying to do. The only problem might be putting bottles in and out, but I think we should be good like that. It just can't overcrowd it really. Beep, beep, beep. All right, let's hit her with some primer. Box is done, and the next time you see it, she'll be going in the house, because we're packing up and we're heading out. To hang these cabinets up, we just did some French cleats in the back, and then I reinforced it with lag screws into the studs to hold everything in place. Ended up going phenomenally well, which was a huge surprise compared to any of the other renovations I've done. And so these suckers are mounted perfectly and ended up working out way better than I thought. Second high five of the day. Lou, by the way, asked to be paid in high five. After we're gonna hide the secret bar in this area. And then what we have to do is move this vent so it looks like it and functions like it does now, as well as we gotta go get some trim to match and I'm gonna have to build a box. I wanna get this laid out first though. It's close, I mean it's high. Now go all the way up. It's much more stable too with the screws. Shit. That's it, that's it. We have to put this on top. What do you mean? Because it doesn't go high enough. Damn, how do we, we screw that math up pretty good, huh? A little bit defeated. Nap time. So we have to change what we're doing. On the left and the right, because we have to be fully down in order to get it to go up, we're gonna take that black piece of trim that I have for the top, then I'm gonna, we're gonna cut it up and make some brackets on the left and the right here that will support the weight just a little bit differently. It'll be supported on the sides and it'll give us that full extension. I am pumped. The electrician just popped over a buddy of mine, patched up some holes, but he ran a plug for this, so that can be hidden now. I went and welded some custom brackets to mount our hidden shelf, because the way I was doing it before just wasn't gonna work. So Lou's tighten up that side, I'm gonna tighten up this side. We're gonna mock this thing up and see if it's actually gonna give us the travel we were looking for. Then we can get this thing inside of its house, hidden, finished, and that'll clear. That'll be reachable, I like it. It definitely worked better. I'm gonna start building what's gonna be the frame for around this. So the game plan here is column on the left, column on the right, box on the bottom in between. This will sit on that, and then we'll run the ducting out. We'll cover the front with a piece of MDF so we can paint it. And so it has some rigidity compared to drywall. And then I will, uh, I will cut in the trim to patch it all up and hide everything, which I think will be the thing that makes it all look butter. Tell you what, this thing's nice. I'm gonna have to just use this as my EDC. It's pretty discreet, and I don't need a permit. We don't have this completely screwed in, but I'm gonna do this to get everything aligned. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> now, we gotta make her pretty. So we need to make a little box for the ducting to run out to the front. So we have like a heat shrink stuff that will stick inside. And that will vent our ducting and heat back out into the room without dissipating too much heat into the cabinet above. 
We are in the home stretch, people. Lou got everything bolted in. We gotta do a little bit of touch up, I think, and it's gonna support a poop load of weight. That's got 80 pounds in it. That's a lot of weight. Like, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna screw it down, tuck everything in, get the front on, paint it, trim it out, and all that stuff's pretty boring. So, here she is. The room's finally done. Let me show you what we did. First, one of you guys sent me this bottle of Smoke Wagon, so I feel it only appropriate that Lou and I have a drink in the new bar before we do anything else. One of our fans, David, I believe his name is, he's got a wood shop, and then Agent Orr actually sent us a bunch of cool stuff to drink out of. Whoa, that's good stuff. These shelves, as you guys know from the build, were made and reclaimed out of the old bar top. This bar top, I purchased the slab and then we did all the custom work that we normally do. Filled with resin, clear coated with lacquer. I think it looks amazing. Back here, under cabinet lighting on custom cabinets. It really just changes the whole feel of the room up. We did these metal inserts. They're a little noisy, we'll figure that out, but tons of storage for booze, glassware, all that fun stuff. Shot that sucker like 12 years ago and it's been like chilling. And then the crown jewel of the room is our handrail. The good old hidden shelf. I invited a couple neighbors over. I'm gonna see what they think of the new bar. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is the private collection. Oh. Oh, gonna have so many good nights here. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. More or less, I just hijacked a standing sit desk. This is a dual motor. This thing can hold up to 400 pounds. It's stable, but it's still like a lifting mechanism. 14 bottles in there. All tater juice for all the haters out there who just chase Blanton's uh, and Weller and Buffalo Trace products around. So there you go. We're gonna hide them all in here so nobody can drink them except for the millions of you that are gonna watch this video. We've got the button set to where they go up and down with just a press and a touch. Uh, controller's hidden over there nicely. I'm loving it. I think it's awesome. Hope you guys liked it. And if you wanna see me do more wild projects like this, got a whole playlist right here.